A few days back, we had made a video on ZAI, which is a revolutionary new open source AI code editor. It's completely free and it gives users access to Anthropic's Claude 3.5 Sonnet API for free, which is quite unique as they have actually partnered with Anthropic for this. It's truly a great advancement for the AI space as it introduces a new way for developers to use AI directly into a new editor with an extendable tech-centric approach. Now, I recently spotlighted this breakthrough on Twitter, but in just seven days, there's already another free open source AI code editor called Meltly. Meltly is designed to understand your work across everything from the terminal to GitHub, and it's going to collaborate with you to write production ready code. It's claimed to boost productivity for engineers and developers by 10 times, which is just simply incredible. Now check out this demo video, which shows a prompt being sent into Mently asking to refactor a file into UI components. The AI is processing the request and it's going to deploy agents to create a plan. It then asks for approval before executing the tasks like creating components, using plugins, as well as apps to carry out the command. And finally, you're going to receive the refractored code ready to accept and deploy after a couple seconds when the agents are then deploying it. And in this case, you can even publish it as a pull request on GitHub, which is just absolutely insane. So it's gonna start committing the changes and there you go. You have the code on the right hand side and you can then accept all the changes that have been made. Now take a look at this demo video where the creator of Meltly is creating a web app with Meltly. Okay, it seems like lots of people wanna try out Melty. So I'm gonna use Melty to uh, make a landing page to collect the signups. So let's say, uh, can you um, make the sign up button link to this Google form I made? Uh, where's the form? Okay, here is the index page. There you go. Okay, now it's writing some code. Okay, let's try it out. So now when you click hack the system, nice, it goes to. Uh, let's also embed my tweet so people can see a demo video. Uh, can we also embed my tweet so people can see a demo of how it works? Here's the link. Okay, it's writing some code. It's adding some styles. Okay. It says it might not appear immediately in developer mode. Oh, there it is. Now, before we get started, I definitely recommend that you take a look at the Patreon page so that you can access the new subscriptions that we'll be releasing this week. Now, wasn't that amazing? This was something that was developed by Charlie and Jackson. They're basically friends and founders of the AI code editor. They basically developed this because of the limitations that was occurring with many existing AI coding tools. So they decided to create Melty, the first AI code editor, and it's going to understand what you're doing from the terminal to the GitHub repositories and going to help you collaborate, to produce production ready code. Now, this has been in development for only 28 days, which is kind of nuts to me. And it has basically used Meltly to already write about half of its own code, similar to what Ader does basically. Now, unfortunately, you can only get access to this by filling out a form. And if you are picked, you're gonna be able to gain access to Meltly in their beta access. But you can actually access the source code at the moment, which might not be helpful for many of us, but you should definitely gain access by filling out this form, which I'll leave a link to in the description below. Now, one of the great features that stand out to me is the ability to navigate large code bases. With Meltly, it's going to easily navigate through large and complex code bases, and it's going to do this by understanding and adapting to your code base. It acts like a pair programmer, similar to what Ada is, and it's going to keep track of every change you make. Now, this feature is going to allow you to quickly find and understand different parts of your project, which is going to make it super easy for you to manage and work with extensive code. 
Another feature is that Meltly can automatically write its own commits, meaning that it can track the changes you make and generate commit messages that can accurately reflect what has been completed. This integration is with tools like GitHub and it's gonna help streamline the coding process so that it ensures that your version controls the always up-to-date like information without needing manual inputs for each commit that has been created. In essence, Meltly is basically developed to help you understand your code better, not worse. It's gonna watch every change you make like a pair programmer. It's gonna learn and adapt to your code base and integrate with your compiler, terminal, and debugger, as well as tools like Linear and GitHub. Now, I want you to take a look at another demo video, which will showcase more about Meltly. Here's a quick demo of an AI pair programmer I've been working on. Uh, I'm not going to say much more about it. Let's just get into it. Uh, let's make a new folder called Animal Farm. And can you put in three animals? Uh, as Python files. Uh, so the first thing that uh, this app can do is uh, write files uh, and do it all at the same time. So here we have, uh, it looks like a pig, a chicken, and a cow that are all getting put into uh, Animal Farm. And then on the right here, we can see a git diff for it. Nice. Um, Second thing this thing can do, uh, its code name is Melty, is uh, refactor. Um, so let's uh, uh, make a new animal class and have all of these animals inherit it. Um, Melty can also handle multiple requests at the same time. So I could also say, also add a draw function to all the animals that make ASCII art. Uh, finally, give me some kind of interactive command line interface I can play with the animals in. So I'm going to kick that off. And uh, what it's doing now is actually kind of complicated because it has to refactor. So it has to understand the, the structure of the files it's created. Um, then has to make edits in all those files at once. Um, it also has to add the draw function. So it has to uh, 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 keep that context separate from the other refactoring. And then it has to write the uh, terminal command I can call. Um, so it looks like it's finished. Um, and it looks like I can run it by executing the farm.py file. So navigate to the animal farm directory. So I'll do that now, cd animal farm. Uh, did I spell it wrong? Oh, animal underscore farm. Uh, this is all the git diffs that it's giving me. Uh, and then I run python.farm. So let's try that. Python farm.py. Welcome to the animal farm. What would you like to do? Uh, let's uh, list the animals, I guess. Okay, we have cow, Bessie, chicken, Henrietta, pig, porky. Uh, what else can we do? Let's hear an animal speak. Uh, let's say Porky. Porky says oink oink. Now let's draw the animal. So let's draw Porky, which I think is three. Okay, that doesn't really look like a pig, but uh, close enough. I guess AI can't do everything yet. Uh, so that's a quick demo of something I've been hacking on. Um, if you'd like to try it, let me know and I can uh, uh, send you a link. Thanks for watching. Now, people have been already creating a lot of things by gaining access to Meltly. In just 20 minutes, someone created a custom stop motion app that was perfect for him. Now, in this case, this is something that Meltly was capable of creating, and it turned the idea into reality, where it first off started by creating a simple, decent app that was fully coded up by the AI that Meltly had deployed with its agents. Another very simple app that was created is an emoji translator. Now, I know this is not some crazy web app or some super like really nifty UI component that was outputted, but you can see that the functionality of the app is there and it was fully created with the help of Meltly. And in this case, it translates text to emojis and emojis to text.
I definitely recommend you guys to gain access to this by requesting early access so that you can get started with this right away. I have huge hopes for whatever they develop because this is definitely a great step forward for the open source field in the AI space. So I'll leave all the links that I use in today's video in the description below. Make sure you take a look at my Patreon page so that you can gain access to different subscriptions completely for free. Make sure you follow me on Twitter, a great way for you to gain a lot of different news that of whatever is happening in the AI space. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day, spread positivity, and I'll see you guys really shortly. Peace out, fellas.